Hi, it's Mike here. Welcome to part five of how to persuade people using emotional intelligence. In this part, we're going to discuss how you notice everything that's going on during a conversation. You know, improving your ability to read emotions will pay enormous dividends and definitely lead to superior results. But to be truly effective at doing this, it makes sense to begin with yourself before moving on to other people. Now, by adopting a step-by-step -step approach, you will be able to discover just how competent currently you are at reading these emotional signals. So you can use this as a kind of a guide to determine where you might want to focus your resources. So first of all, pay attention to and begin the process of accurately identifying your own emotional state. What mood are you currently in? And then assess, is that the most appropriate mood for a given context? Next, have the know-how to shift mood immediately. You know, the key when you are in a situation where you need to influence somebody, where you need to persuade them, is to quickly establish the mood of the person you are communicating with. So initially assess the verbal information you are receiving. Hey, and look, Use encouragement to get the other person to really open up. Just assess the signals. For example, what emotional words are being used? What tone is evident? And when and how does this change? What does this really signify? Just note the speed and pitch of the words are where you can alter your own delivery. And always remember to calibrate all those nonverbal messages that are always on show. For example, what facial expressions can you identify? And what do their eyes and their mouth reveal about them? And keep in mind their overall posture. Is it symmetrical? Are they leaning to one side? Are they leaning forward? And in what direction are their feet pointing? If they're pointing to the nearest exit, you may have to make an adjustment. And what expressions, what gestures do they commonly use? And do they use specific gestures when they're emphasizing an important point. What do the gestures mean in the particular context? Very important to gather all of this information. So what significance do the words and tone have and the way they relate to the gestures that you have observed? I mean, is there a recognizable match between the words and tone? Is there a match between the expressions, words and tone? Gather all of this. Now, really, you can continue in this way analyzing all of this information you know, and just use your natural resources, your unconscious resources to guide you along the way. But whatever you do, beware of jumping to conclusions and being misled. Just look for consistency. Look for those consistent patterns that you've established and that you can compare against. But listen, keep in mind to tap into your own emotional response and reactions as the conversation progresses. What is there to learn from this? What have you gained by doing this? And are there some emotions that make you feel a little bit uncomfortable? Just take a note of this. So with constant practice and feedback, you will be able to really improve your accuracy at reading these emotions. And really that will allow you to get into the right mood almost effortlessly. And this is the starting point to really improve your ability to really influence and persuade other people. That completes part five of how to persuade people using emotional intelligence. Thanks so much for watching and I hope something has been of value to you. Please visit my website knowyourmind.com or mikelally.com and feel free to contact me at mike at knowyourmind.com. Now if you can click on the subscribe button to my YouTube channel that would be really lovely. In the meantime take care of yourself. I'll look forward to speaking to you very soon. Bye for now.